Greetings, everyone. I'm Michael Sampson. I'm so happy to be with you this morning. And actually, it's for me, it's the afternoon before because you may have heard of my dilemma. And that is that um, I, I teach at St. John's University in New York City and live there. But my daughter goes to high school in, uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida. And of course, that's where the hurricane Helene hit Treasure Island, where she lives last week. And uh, I came home to help and uh, Helene delivered six foot of water and to the home. And so I've been busy helping uh, remedy that, getting thing, everything out. And just as we are about to be done with that, word comes that Milton is coming across the Gulf now. And it's going to be even worse than Helene, as it may hit Tampa Bay. So obviously, I had to make a decision of being with you, which I've been looking forward to for so long, or taking care of my daughter and family. And so... Uh, of course, I'm going to choose family, but uh, I do have regrets because I love Denver and the Rocky Mountain area so much, and I love independent booksellers. Uh, uh, but a little secret you may not know is that I'm also an owner of an independent bookstore, or I was for 17 years when I was at uh, Texas A&M uh, Commerce near Dallas, and uh, and those were some of the best times and the worst times of my life, and those of you in the industry know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I, I want to bring greetings to all of you that, that help make uh, the books you see around me uh, into successes because you are the one that sells it and um, you're the ones that have the events and, and bring families in. And so I really owe so much to you. And that's why I wish that I could be with you. Uh, but I'm glad that we have this opportunity for me to share a word of encouragement and greetings just through this video. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about my new book, uh, Rainbow Bear, and the history of that. You've probably heard of a little book called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Yes, Bill Martin wrote it back in 1967 for Holt Reinhardt and Winston, later to become Henry Holt. And uh, it became one of the great books of the 20th century, uh, made several lists and was even named by the International Reading Association as, as one of the great books of the 20th century. So uh, what happened is uh, a few years later, Holt asked Bill to do a sequel to that book because obviously... Uh, who wouldn't want a sequel to Brown Bear? Uh, but Bill had writer's block, and he struggled with it, struggled with it. And then I came up with an idea that I actually published in my, in my book, uh, uh, Pathways to Literacy, uh, about a, uh, a bear, a panda bear, no, I'm sorry, a polar bear in a zoo. And Bill loved it so much that we worked on that together. We came out with Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? Using Another Sense. Well, it became number one. Eric did beautiful art for it. It was it was set in a zoo. And so Holt came back again, said, do another sequel. And this time uh, we came up with the idea of, um, of uh, another sense, smell. But that didn't turn out too well. We couldn't make that very pleasant. And so we went back to sea and um, uh, came up with the idea of writing about endangered creatures. Uh, creatures that are in danger of being extinct. And the panda bear uh, that you see behind me, it was one of those. And so the book was Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? And it became a number one New York Times bestseller book. And so then once again, uh, we started writing another sequel to Brown Bear because we knew they would ask for it. And we had two manuscripts, Clumsy Moose and uh, Baby Bear, where Brown Bear had a baby cub. Well, the publisher decided to go with Baby Bear, and it was a bestseller. And we thought there would be another book, but Eric, the uh, Eric Carl, the illustrator, said four is a good number. Let's stop at four. Gwyneth Paltrow recorded it. We called it Brown Bear and Friends, and and even today we're actually doing some more books. But that was the end of the official collaboration between um, Bill Martin and Eric Carl and myself. So. Uh, but what I didn't mention is that um, that we had been trying to do something like Brown Bear, but different. And we came up with a pattern, um, uh, baby bear, baby pear, are you waking up? Not yet, mother, I'm a sleepy buttercup. But Bill said, what if it hurts the sales of Brown Bear? And the publisher agreed. And so we pushed... Uh, it to the side and made it kitty cat, kitty cat. Are you waking up? Not yet, mother. I'm a sleepy buttercup. We did three sequels to that. Uh, kitty cat going to school, kitty cat going to, to, uh, to bed at night. And then finally, 
we came up with another idea you see behind me that I'd actually did with brown books for kids and we went to a puppy dog puppy dog puppy dog do you want to play but in the midst of all these animal books that we loved to do so much we had another book called rainbow bear and we liked it so much because it revisited what made brown bear magical and that would be animals in colors and so uh, but then unfortunately bill passed away and i put it aside and uh, it was one of about 30 manuscripts that bill and i did that um, didn't know exactly where to place it or how to place it and so i diligently started doing one or two books uh, every couple of years we did um, uh, a spunky little monkey and we did listen to our world with simon and schuster and um, and was making great progress but then i had an opportunity to do a four book contract with brown books for kids and i love their uh, approach to working with authors and and the uh, ability to really market our books and so we had a four book contract we did those four books and uh, the first one was armadillo antics and eric by now had passed away and we we didn't have eric to do it but we found a wonderful uh, illustrator natalia bovos uh, from south america and her art was very much like eric carl's but different and so suddenly we had the ability to revisit rainbow bear and and i told brown books for kids that it's the best book of these eight that you're going to do. So let's make it the uh, grand finale. Let's make it the final book in the series that we're doing. And that was four years ago, but four years have gone by fast. And now it's fall of 2024 and it's time for um, Rainbow Bear to come out. It's October and that's the publication date. And so we're really happy to launch it here with you brilliant booksellers. And uh, I think it's going to be fun to share it with you right now. Let's see if I can share, share content, and here it is. Here's the beautiful cover, and as you see, uh, as I promised, the, the, the cub, the bear cub, looks a lot like brown bear, but different. And that's what we're aiming for. And so uh, you see the title, The Colors of the Rainbow, so you kind of get an idea of what we're going to do with this book. But I think now it's time to stop talking about it and to share it with you. And I'm so glad that you're the first audience to hear it. Here's how it goes. Little Bear wakes after a long winter's nap. He yawns, he stretches. He pats his tummy, and I absolutely love this mouth and little bear yawning. It's one of my favorite pages. He walks around the cave until he finds his mommy in the dark. Mommy, I'm hungry, little bear cries. Then go outside and eat some berries, little bear. They are yummy. And there's the entrance, the exit to the cave. Little Bear eats some red berries. Hungry little me. Little Bear eats some orange berries. Hungry little me. Little Bear eats some yellow berries. Hungry little me. Little Bear eats some green berries. Hungry little me. Little Bear eats some blue berries. Hungry little me. Little Bear eats some navy berries. Hungry little me. And by the way, I wrote indigo. An editorial they thought it might be too hard so we went with navy so navy indigo you learn something new little bear eats some purple berries hungry little me mommy cries out little bear you're my little messy bear no mommy i'm your little rainbow bear happy little me the end and you see that all the berry juice has indeed made him into Rainbow Bear. Well, I was a kindergarten teacher, so I have to take advantage of a teachable moment and pull this together. So at the end, I put all the berries in order of the rainbow. And I wrote, many bears in North America and Europe, including the brown bear, wake up hungry after sleeping or hibernating for up to eight months. Our little bear finds and eats berries that match all the colors of the rainbow. Rainbows form in the sun when sunlight shines through rain. Let's name the colors of the rainbow in order.
And then just to recap the work I've been doing the last few years, of course, we went from um, classic books like Chicka Chicka 1, 2, 3 and Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? to launching this new series uh, that started with Armadillo Antics. And most recently, we had A is for Athlete, which was about the Paris Olympics. Um, and before that, uh, a very special book to me, The Story of Ukraine, An Anthem of Glory and Freedom, because it wrote about uh, in 2022 when I was a Fulbright scholar to Ukraine and the precious children and teachers I was working with and how the devastating Russian invasion drove them out of the country, all over the world. I still keep up with them. And my, my prayer and my hope is that soon they can go home to Ukraine, their homeland, in safety and peace. And so uh, all of these books are precious to me. Uh, people often ask me, um, what's your favorite book that you've written of these 50 books? And Bill Martin and I always have the same answer. It's the one that we're working on right now. But for today, it's the book that I'm just sharing with you right now that's being released in its Rainbow Bear. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll share it. And I I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, but I hope you have a great conference. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you next time.